first place we have the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer that will reach dealers this summer with top-notch materials and features and a price tag that can quickly grow to six figures. But for those who want a large three-row family SUV from Jeep at a lower price point, there is the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer. Dropping, Grand, from that luxury hauler's name drops the starting price by almost 30 of a different sort of Grand, as in thousands. The Wagoneer family is entirely made up of full-size three-row SUVs, augmenting the Jeep brand with its largest vehicles to date. These new models mark the return of the Wagoneer nameplate after 30 years out of the market and represent a modern reinterpretation of the original Wagoneer that came out in 1962 as a 63 model and created a new, proto-sport utility vehicle segment by offering four-wheel drive with an automatic transmission in a wagon-like body. Now, they're back. The new Wagoneer, which seats up to eight, is expected to spawn future variants, including electrified versions. But at launch, the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer comes one way, with a 5.7-liter V8 engine with the next generation of the Ram 1500 pickup truck's available e-torque 48-volt mild hybrid system. It generates 392 horsepower and 404 pound-feet of torque and is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission that is operated with a rotary shifter. The Wagoneer, offered with rear wheel, all wheel, or four wheel drive, directly takes on the Chevrolet Tahoe and the Ford Expedition, while the fancier Grand Wagoneer takes on those rigs' higher priced relatives, the Cadillac Escalade and the Lincoln Navigator, plus the Land Rover Range Rover. On the second place we have, 2021 Cadillac Escalade, Highs high-tech cabin, suitably upscale, gutsy V8 engine, Lowe's eye-popping price tag, big thirst for gasoline, up-level version of GMC and Chevy siblings are almost as nice. Verdict buyers who view the Escalade as a status symbol will be delighted by the latest generation of Cadillac's flagship SUV. The 2021 Escalade has undergone a thorough redesign, complete with a new independent rear suspension, savvier interior technology, prettier styling, and a new optional diesel-powered engine. Cadillac's biggest SUV is powered by either a 6.2-liter V8 engine that makes 420 horsepower and can deactivate half of its cylinders when cruising to save fuel or a turbo-diesel 3.0-liter inline-six. A 10-speed automatic transmission will be standard with both engines, and buyers will be able to choose from rear or all-wheel drive setups based on their individual needs. As with its siblings, the Chevrolet Tahoe and Suburban and the GMC Yukon, the 2021 Escalade now rides on an all-new platform with an independent rear suspension to help provide a smoother ride. Higher-end models also offer an air suspension with adaptive dampers that use computer-controlled shock absorbers. At our test track, the long wheelbase Escalade ESV with the V8 engine sprinted to 60 miles per hour in just 5.9 seconds. The diesel engine sounds less refined than the V8, but for some buyers that compromise is worth the improved fuel economy and low-end torque. In addition to the extra luxury features in the cabin, Cadillac has completely tricked out the Escalade in the electronics department. The main showpiece is the digital dashboard that's comprised of three curved OLED displays that layer on top of one another to create a cool 38 inches of combined digital real estate, some of which serves as the driver's gauge cluster while the rest projects the Q infotainment system for the driver and passenger. The collection of displays is reminiscent of the Mercedes-Benz GLS class's giant monolithic infotainment setup, but the Escalade's stacked setup creates depth and looks less tacked on than the Benz.
the third place we have Lincoln Navigator. Inside, spaciousness comes in all three rows, including storage in each to keep the cabin clean and organized. The all-new Navigator's advanced cargo management system offers an adjustable shelf behind the rear seats that allows clients to create storage customized to their needs. Even with the vehicle parked on an incline, the feature ensures groceries won't roll out when the lift gate is open. The interior layout is clean and uncluttered, with a simple, soothing ambience. When designing the Navigator, we put an emphasis on ultra-luxury touch points, says David Woodhouse, Lincoln Design Director. We took everything the client would see and touch, and made sure it would look and feel a little more exuberant, a little more indulgent and incredibly beautiful. Staying connected is easy in the all-new Navigator with 6 USB ports, 4 12-volt power outlets and a 110-volt plug. An available wireless phone charger in the first row center console media bin eliminates tangled cords. The client experience is further elevated through Lincoln's new personal profile. It uses the key fob to recall individual driver preferences for adapting seat, mirror and pedal positions, as well as climate control and entertainment settings. For owners desiring a more personalized look, Navigator comes with three Lincoln Black Label options, an exclusive collection of interior design themes and materials, plus a host of membership privileges. First class seating for all even when the all-new Navigator is fully packed, each occupant can sit in comfort. The driver and front seat passenger enjoy perfect position seats, which offer massage, heating and cooling functionality, and can be adjusted up to 30 different ways. Standard Sync 3 with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility enables clients to manage audio, phone, navigation and more from the vehicle touchscreen or steering wheel mounted controls. Second row passengers have their own audio and climate control, while third row seats feature power recline capability. An available rear seat entertainment system allows passengers to stream content wirelessly with an Android device to one of the 10-inch adjustable screens mounted on the rear of the front seats. Content also can be accessed through more traditional devices like an SD card, an HDMI cord or a USB, as well as through Sync AppLink, which permits the front seat passenger to monitor and select viewing content.
On the fourth place we have Range Rover Bo. Highs regal on road presence, luxurious interior, many powertrains to choose from. Lowe's boat-like driving experience, cubby storage is limited, nearly six-figure starting price. Verdict few SUVs are as desirable, as capable, and as revered as the iconic Range Rover. Overview originally conceived as a tool for getting work done around the farm. The Range Rover has had quite the glow up since its introduction in 1970, and it's now viewed as a luxury-lined limo for the stylish elite. As such, its accommodations have gone from Spartan to opulent, and the 2021 model is the most luxurious Range Rover yet. Fine leather, real wood trim, plush carpets, and a host of convenient features deck out every one of the Range Rover's many trims. Lower-end models offer quiet comfort while the high-end SV autobiography models are a performance pageant headlined by a verbally 557 HP supercharged V8 engine. What's the price for all this sumptuousness? Well, the Range Rover lineup starts just under the six-figure mark, and that's before you get into the plethora of optional features and customization choices. What's new for 2021? Land Rover is launching three special editions of the Range Rover this year, the first being the 50 edition that celebrates the 50th anniversary of the flagship SUV. Only 1970, naturally, examples will be produced, all based on the luxurious autobiography trim level but featuring unique exterior design features and 50th anniversary badge. The Westminster edition is based on the HSE trim level and won't be as limited in number. Buyers of this mid-range model will have their choice between the Range Rover's standard inline 6 or the more powerful supercharged V8 engine. The Westminster also receives unique wheels and a fancier exterior trim treatment. Inside, occupants are treated to walnut wood finishes, 20-way power adjustable front seats with heat and ventilation, a refrigerated compartment between the front seats, soft closed doors, and a 19-speaker Meridian stereo system. The high-performance SV autobiography model also receives its own special edition for 2021 called the Dynamic Black Edition. This package darkens the exterior and interior trim, adds gloss black painted 22-inch wheels, and is available only in Santorini black metallic paint. The new Westminster Edition model seems to represent a good value, even though it starts with a six-figure price. We'd also suggest upgrading to the long wheelbase model for an additional $14,000, because it not only offers extra rear seat legroom, but its proportions are slightly more elegant. It also happens to live in the middle range between the lower-end base model and the ridiculously pricey SV autobiography. Land Rover only fits a V8 engine to the longer model, but that's the engine we'd prefer anyway. The 5th place we have Toyota Land Cruiser. Toyota doesn't redesign the Land Cruiser too often, so the arrival of this new 300 series model is a big deal. Compared with the outgoing 200 series iteration, this new Land Cruiser is lighter, more powerful, and has a far more modern interior. Inside, the cabin benefits from a significant upgrade with a large tablet-style infotainment screen and a cleaner dashboard layer. The interior has been subjected to massive changes to accommodate a standard 9-inch infotainment or an optional 12.3-inch screen. Three rows of seats will be available, and the third row appears to fold into the floor, a change from the current model, which requires you to flip and fold the wayback seats up towards the windows for more cargo capacity. Owners will benefit from Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, wireless smartphone charging, a 360-degree camera, and a head-up display. A powered tailgate will also be available, along with an electrically adjustable steering wheel, air ionizer, and even a fingerprint authentication system. Toyota's latest safety sense array has been implemented in the 2022 Land Cruiser and includes adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and adaptive hiking. Last month, Toyota introduced the all-new 2022 Land Cruiser, putting it on a new platform, adding a ton of tech, redesigning the boxy exterior, and like clockwork, it's happened again. Modelista has announced a few exterior upgrades for the fresh SUV. They're nothing significant, but they do tweak the exterior styling for the better. Modelista is offering the Land Cruiser with revised front and rear bumpers. At the front, the bumper is much busier with its styling than the standard road-going one. The angled fog light housings and black lower bumper opening give the SUV a sportier look. At the rear, the Modelista upgrade adds a rear diffuser, continuing the sportier styling. 
Also available are two different alloy wheel styles, gloss black or matte black, and both measure 21 inches. Modelista doesn't offer the new Land Cruiser with a ton of visual upgrades, but it is a utilitarian SUV with a very defined design. The model's bo boxiness is part of its charm. The new one sports a redesigned grain too far from the previous model. It'll be interesting to see if Modelista offers more Land Cruiser upgrades in the future. The company has previously offered kits that included new side sills, exterior accent trim, spoilers, and even interior upgrades. There are no interior upgrades available for the new Land Cruiser, though Toyota significantly overhauled it for the 2022 model year.